Hey, what's going on guys? It's Joel here with as many reviews as possible and today we're taking a look at the Adidas Lice Tongue 2016 Rio weightlifting shoe. Uh, these are Adidas's official weightlifting shoe for the 2016 Olympics. Um, they are not, as far as my knowledge, replacing the Addy Powers that are ever so popular. Those are still sold pretty much everywhere you go. Um, I don't know what happened to the Drekhaft. I'm assuming that's going away due to the release of this. I mean, the, the prices were a little bit different. The shoe was a lot different uh, other than what makes the Lice Tongue special. The Boa Dial. Um, you've seen the Boa Dial on certain shoes like the Innovate um, 370s and of course the Adidas uh, Dreck Calves. And that was their actual first shoe that included the Boa Dial. Um, other than that, differences to the Adidas Slice Tongue are from the Addy Power almost everything. The upper is a different material. It's actually a synthetic material now. Uh, it's not leather, so you can count on it not stretching like your Adidas Addy Powers did. The heel height is probably the greatest difference. The heel height on the Lice Tongue is a 1.5, almost 1.5. It's like 1.48 uh, inch heel compared to the 0.75 inch heel that you find on the Adidas Addy Powers. I'm not. I'm not sure what the uh, Drek Cap was though. The weight is just a slightly lower than. I think it's a, like an ounce lower um, than the Addy Powers were. They're like 16.48 ounces, and these are size nines. Um, other than that, you've got this crazy looking upper that has some ventilation up here. But otherwise, it's, uh, it's a love it or hate it kind of thing with this upper. I, I don't mind it that much, but I know a lot of people that have commented on my pictures say they hate it and they wouldn't wear it. And um, I can see that. I like it because it's a little bit, it's, it's loud and different and, and crazy. But uh, to each their own. The outsole is this just flat outsole. It's got this little indentation for the TPU heel. And uh, it's got the same kind of pattern that you find on the upper, which is this kind of like hexagon, kind of star upper. The heel is made from TPU. It's a TPU heel. Um, you can count on perfect power delivery that's not compressing anytime soon. Hard as a rock. And the inside, You've got removable insoles that are pretty thin, contoured, I'm gonna say about three millimeters in thickness, uh, but that's just me. Just going by feel. So, performance wise, power delivery is excellent. But, from my testing, and this is, this is personal, um, I did not get a good feel from these shoes. I just, I, I can't lift in them. I think the heel is just too high for me. Uh, I don't know whether it's my technique or my mobility is not too bad, so I don't really need um, the extra added heel height. But it should theoretically help you or catch in a better position and a more upright torso. Um, but for me, I was just catching things forward. And that might come down to technique, you might be a better lifter than me, but personally I thought the heel was just too high. Uh, I know, I believe the ch Chinese, the Antas, w lift with a uh, 1.5 heel or 1.25 heel. And I I've lifted with a, a 1.25, which I had originally thought these were. Um, and those were okay, but when it got to like one and a half inches, I, I just think it's too much. Uh, even. 0.75 inches for me is, is fine. Uh, I per actually prefer flat shoes when I lift. I try not to wear Olympic lifting shoes when I when I do my weightlifting just because I do functional fitness and uh, I try not to kind of rely on it as a crutch. If you're a dedicated weightlifter, these might work for you. Um, you might you put some more time into it, practice with them, you might get good with them, but for me, uh, I, I just didn't, I didn't like them. Um, 
I think the Addy Power is a great shoe. I think the Romaleo is a great shoe. This is probably a great shoe, but just it's subjective depending on who you are. Uh, the price of them is a little bit more than the Addy Powers. These retail for $225. I picked them up on East Bay and they usually have 20% off coupons, so it's a little bit less. But still, that's uh, kind of a lot to pay for a shoe that you might not like the look of. Uh, it only comes in this colorway as well, the Solar Red. I think for the money you can get, uh, actually for less money you can get better weightlifting shoes. I mean, subjective once again. Um, I'm, I'm just not 100% sold on these shoes. Um, the Chinese, the Antas, you can actually get for, for less and they're actually, they're kind of cool. I mean, to, to be rocking Antas. Um, you can get the position, blue suede shoes, they're a little bit less than these as well. And not as aggressive as of a heel height as well. Uh, but it's all up to you. So, I'm just letting you guys know what I think about these shoes. You can read the full review on as many reviews as possible.com. And as always, guys, please hit that like and subscribe button. And thanks for watching.